find the rhythm and uh, find execution and uh, find a way to uh, improve ourselves, blocking, securing the football, and uh, all those things we need to do. Obviously, the uh, efficiency, uh, we're looking to improve and get better, and uh, that's what our focus has been this week. So, any questions? What do you think will be the biggest difference this, this Saturday as opposed to last Friday? Well, those very areas. Hopefully we get better with our uh, efficiency and uh, get better with execution and improve uh, how we block, leverage our helmets, and also improve on our ball security. So we look to improve. Uh, it is uh, a slump as a team we're in, and I do believe we're all uh, focused and in it together. So the best we can do as a group to take a step forward. That's our intent. How's Jamal feeling, and will we see him more uh, on Saturday? I hope so. We've had a good week. He's had a good week of practice, and you know, we, we look forward to his continual and uh, added uh, volume that we hope to get this week. With the way the defense has struggled, is there any thought of slowing down your, your offense at all, or, or are you still committed to that? Uh, uh, well, there's a couple of things as a team that uh, we're focusing on. And, uh, you know, right now it's, it's trying to be as efficient as we can. And uh, we, we're not uh, efficient in any stretch. So, uh, you know, I look at this as a team-wide thing that we've all got to do our part to, uh, to pull at the, uh, in the same direction. You mentioned uh, a couple of games ago that maybe simpler is better in terms of, of the offense. Have you been pleased with with that, the way that was going? And do you look to add, maybe add more? Or how, how do yeah, you look at that right now? It was going pretty good. But, uh, uh, you know, it, it was kind of a deal the other night where a lot was asked. And, you know, we didn't get going till uh, later in, in the game and uh, inconsistent. So now yeah, we've got to focus on starting better starting fast and, and being efficient when we hit the field. When you talk about uh, execution, is, is it safe to say or is it fair to say that winning some one-on-one -on -one battles will help to, to make that work and maybe you, you guys aren't winning as many of those one-on-one -on -one battles as you need to in the execution scheme? Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's exactly what happens when, uh, when you're three and out. We've got too many one-on-one -on -one battles that are being lost. And collectively, uh, you know, the sign is inefficiency. So, how do you start winning those though? What what what, what sort of things are need to happen for them to win those battles? Well, uh, just a, a renewed commitment to to get out there and, and win your one-on-one -on -one battles. Because you know, with 11 guys on the field, it's it's a one-on-one -on -one battle all the way through. And when uh, more guys are are on the same page, then it looks really good. When, when a guy breaks down here and a guy breaks down there and a guy breaks down here at different points and you know your efficiency just drops and that's what happened the other night so our commitment is to get that right every guy buy in every guy do his job and and the more guys that that do that uh, you know I, I'm sure it will show on the scoreboard philosophy wise or when how do you balance aggressive play calling versus conservative play calling? Is it what what the defense is, is giving you? Is it where you feel like you know the, the your guys are? Well, it's uh, just kind of a balance. You, you, you're going to have to weigh that out to see where your team is, and especially where your offense is. And I'm constantly uh, uh, trying to update that feedback and information with our assistant coaches. So that's why we got those headphones. We are constantly communicating about. About that, where we're at, and uh, what uh, looks good, who's uh, who's working at a really fast pace at a high level, and you know you try to move in that direction. When you start the game and don't have as much of the feedback yet, is it prescripted in that sense that you already know basically from watching film how aggressive you want to be to start the game, or you know do you have a pretty good idea of what you want to try? Is that kind of how well? Yeah, we script plays uh, like everybody. But uh, the guys, the plays that kind of earn it, the, the ones that hit the script, you know, we believe guys have earned that. Plays have earned it. So 
yeah, they they earn playing time and, and uh, the plays that, that 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 work. Usually, those guys have earned and, and demonstrated an ability to do that task well. And uh, shoot, like I said, I was pleased with the progress we we're making. Took a step backward the other night, but uh, we look forward to getting back on the right track. Braden, Braden Kersley was another guy that's been in. Is he, is he going to be back this week? Uh, yes, Kersley's been practicing. We yeah. look forward to him joining the team and uh, on the plane. I wanted to ask about uh, Scott Arlano. He's, as an offensive coordinator, you probably don't want to see the punter coming out on the field, but he's a top 20 level guy and has been kicking pretty well for you. What difference does he make as far as you know, your viewpoint? Oh, huge. You know, uh, a good punter helps you win the uh, uh, possession battle. So he's done a great job, and that always helps our team. So I'm all, all for it. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.